Turn from the middle of the end zone and only able to get this to the 19 so probably should have opted for the touchback so here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20 beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside, and so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. On first down, they go with Jacobs again, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the 45 on second down, Carr. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Deshaun Jackson, 55 yards. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that makes it 7-zip Vegas. Turning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. and 10 at their own 26. <laughs> Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. A gain of six there on first. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And they'll run for the first time with Najee Harris. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Again, it's Harris on second down. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for first. the 
shotgun. It's Roethlisberger. I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 45-yard line. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and the Raiders have recovered. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring at three. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think that you take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. But the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. Throw left side complete. That's Edwards. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. They'll run on first down. It's Jacobs. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The handoff, Jacobs running to the left. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. Seven yards on the carry, make it third and four coming up. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. And defensively going with a dime set, six DBs on third and four. Here's Carr to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. Touchdown, Raiders! Josh Jacobs, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Raiders add on to their lead. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Second and ten. Here's Roethlisberger. The throw for Claypool is intercepted. Picked off by Denzel Perryman. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. 
So that time the pressure got home just as he was releasing the football and caused the pick. And what it did was it disrupted that fragile balance of the mechanics of throwing the football. You know, from the footwork to being able to actually throw it downfield. If one piece of that puzzle gets disrupted, it affects the entire chance of success. Cameron Hayward in on the tackle. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Throwing on second and eight. Carr, and it's caught. And the Raiders are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Jacobs. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Carlson now to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Here's McLeod from his end zone. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that, I'm not some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball. I'll try and get things settled down a little bit. On second down now, it's Harris. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Roethlisberger. He gets it complete to Harris. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Second and 15. Roethlisberger will throw. Ebron caught left side. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Now it's Roethlisberger. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. No move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. They'll try and throw for him with Roethlisberger. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn Incomplete. It so certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. On first down, it's Jacobs. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. 
because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. This one's incomplete. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty safe to say that when you have three touchdowns, the last thing you want to do is hang one up there and put it in jeopardy and Catch possibly that, baby. get it intercepted. You get a nice lead. You should be able to protect it. But if you get careless with the football, look out. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Play action. Now it's Carr. On the move to his left. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Carr. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. Oh, break and he's that. not able to get oh, the break that shit, dude. He stopped well, well short of a first down. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Roethlisberger. It's brought in by Harris. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. on first down. Here's Johnson with a reception. Now a timeout signaled for him. Need that. With 10 seconds to go before halftime. Pick that field now ball, that's man. the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't caught their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. That's in that the field ball, and intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Merrick. And the Raiders are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. Boy, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, they've got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. Fuck. The final shot here before half for Carr. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. He's got a man complete. He's at the 30. 10, Ooh, 5, he's and he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead, a little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? Carlson on for the PAT. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
The Steelers oh, going to get the no. football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. 28 0. -0. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? And the Raiders have got him. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. They hand this off to Harris. Brought down around the 16 or 17. Showed some tough running, but couldn't free much space. He's able to get four back on the run, but now they'll have to find something here on third and about 14. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Try to pop the fucking helmet off that nigga. Try to going. hit the helmet off that nigga. I didn't want that. Nah, I mean. Trying you. You to pop the helmet off that nigga. I didn't even want the MO. You know what I'm saying? Get quick. 